wonderfuls. We have seen it all with this exploiter, this manipulator. In my opinion, here Martel Holt is yet again trying to use the babies concerning his home situation. Those babies have a place they call home. They live with their beautiful and wealthy mother, Melody Cherie Rogers. Yes, they do. So keep the babies out of this, Martell. They have nothing to do with this. And here he is once again in a mess of a situation about to be thrown out of not his house, but someone else's house. Whereas at this point, he, y'all, is a squatter. Oh yes, that's that's what he is at this point, in my opinion, okay? Y'all, Chris Fletcher looked at him, told him he was out of his darn mind, and really wanted to lay hands on Martell Holt. Just look at it. Yes, he did. He wanted to lay hands on Martell Holt because in that scene, when you look close enough, Chris Fletcher was actually shaken. Yes, he was. He was shaken. And I've seen that type of thing. Yeah, I've seen that type of thing when people are so mad. They start shaking, y'all. I know some of y'all know what I'm talking about. People are so mad, they start shaking because they're trying to control their hands. Chris now sees Martell for the user he is. He now sees what Mel put up with all those years. Yes, he does. He now sees that it's time to stop playing the neutral ground. Yes, he does. It's stop. Oh, it's, it's time out for that, Chris. Stop playing neutral and pick the right side, man. Because playing neutral has gotten Chris to this very point and position to where he is about to catch a case. Because of Martell Holt. Yo, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here, Martell Holt is accusing this man of not being a friend. When that's all Chris has been. Heck, he was a friend by even letting your earth stay there in the first place. He was being a friend when he let you stay darn near a whole year, man. He was being a friend letting you stay past the official notice of 30 days. Now what? You've been there now 45 days when you've been given the notice? And you trying to call this man not a friend? So, you see... Chris, Martell will never appreciate you or anything you've done for him. It's time to pick a side, man. It takes boldness and courage to do so. Yes, it does. I mean, in this day and age, come on. What do you mean, remaining neutral? You see what remaining neutral with Martell Holt has gotten you. He's sitting up there arguing you down, implying that you are not a friend and that he should come first. When, man, all you did was put him first. You put him first before Mel because when you think about it, y'all know that man was cheating, but you're going to still try to remain neutral? You put him first. That ain't neutral. You put him first. You know the man was cheating. You know what he did. Y'all saw that stuff he did. 
but you're going to put somebody who was clearly in the wrong. You, you trying to remain neutral with that? No. Remaining neutral shows no power. Choose you this day, man. Okay? Choose you this day. And now you see why. You see why it says choose you this day. Users, manipulators, exploiters. Hey, Martel Holt, in my opinion, will never respect you because that is what they do. They're always going to put themselves first and foremost, regardless of whatever wrong they may have done. They're going to then put it to you and say, what? You against me? What? I'm not a priority? What? You're not my friend? What? And they'll go on and on. Because it's characteristic of a type of gaslighting. Which is what narcissists do. That's a gaslighting technique. Man, check yourself. You were sitting up there. You go back and look at that tape yourself. You were sitting up there shaking. Because that man was spewing all that garbage in your face. And you have done nothing but been there for him. You didn't have to let him stay in that place. This is your business. You about to be booted out of a client fooling around with Martel. You were about to lay hands on that man because you were so mad. You were shaken. So, choose you this day. Be bold. Be courageous. Pick a side.